I will go back 50 years in time to 1963. Here are all the countries. And these green ones is America, north and south. The yellow ones is Europe, east and west. And blue is Africa, north and south of the Sahara. And red is Asia, and we include Australia and New Zealand. The size of the bubble show the size of the population. Look, the big ones over there is China and India, and Bangladesh is just behind. In 1963, the average number of babies born per woman in the world was five. But it was a divided world. Can you see that? These countries over here, the developed countries, they had small families and long lives. And then there were the developing countries over here, and they had large families and short lives, and very few were in between. But now we'll see what has happened. I start the world. Here we go. And you can see that China is getting, the big bubble is getting to better health, and then they start family planning, they move along to smaller families, and the big green, look at Mexico, Mexico is coming there, and this is uh, Brazil also, the green in Latin America, and here India is following, India is following, the big red bubbles are Asian countries going this way, many Africans are still with many babies born per woman, and then Bangladesh over there overtakes India on its way to the small family, and now almost all go up to this bubble, even Africa now starts to move up, ooh, that was the earthquake in Haiti, uh, and now everyone ends up there. What a change we have. Today, you know, in the world, the average is 2.5. Imagine, you know, it used to be 50 years ago, 5, and the world has changed. The average number of babies born per woman have gone from 5 to 2.5, and it's still decreasing. What a big change.